everyone experiences anxiety and it all stems from this thing in the back of our head called the amygdala. And this amygdala is a reptilian portion of our brain which we have and many animals have and basically it's there to make sure that you survive. And so you may have heard before the fight or flight reflex and really the amygdala is a thing that is kind of getting that going. Of course with a lot of other very complicated neurochemistry going on in your brain but that goddamn amygdala is very responsible for us feeling like the world's just coming down around us when a lot of times it's not. The problem is our lives are just too damn good in modern day. Our food is taken care of, our shelter for most of us, uh, just our basic living needs are taken care of for most people, especially people in the Western world. And in addition to that, we're no longer out running lions, tigers, or bears, right? For most of us, we're not experiencing physical threats to our life on a daily basis. And so that amygdala, you know, makes us feel anxiety because we're like, hey, gotta make sure there's no bears around. I'm gonna die. But in present day, we start to create stories in our minds to justify this fear that we feel because we start to feel this kind of very instinctual reaction to the world around us. And it may not be a physical threat to us, but it is an emotional threat. And so regardless, our brain is interpreted that way and we start to create stories. And these stories are usually located in the future and that's where anxiety comes from. We start to future pace something down the road. It has uncertainty involved in it. It's like, hey, am I gonna have a, you know, enough money to do things I need to do? Am I gonna get that job? When I go and approach that girl, is she gonna say yes when I ask for a number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So anxiety isn't something that we should say, this is bad, get rid of it completely, because anxiety is very human. And that pain oftentimes also signals to us that maybe we need to change our actions. Hopefully by now you've realized that the OS or the operating system of our brain is actually a little bit outdated. As wonderful as it is, it's not serving us in the context of present day society for many people. So how do we update our operating system in our brains? Mindfulness and meditation. We train our minds. And how do we train our minds through mindfulness and meditation? Well, we start by getting into something that I talked about last week, which was self-awareness. You can't really change how you feel right now. You can't overcome anxiety unless you're aware of what's producing that anxiety and that you're even having this emotional experience because a lot of us just are experiencing emotional pain, period, and we're not realizing where it's stemming from or we're not even acknowledging this experience as, as much as just being like, hey, I don't feel good. And so what we wanna do is kind of move away from that pain through some of these tools and break the pattern of anxiety so we don't stay anxious, which goes from pain to suffering. Instead, we go from pain to transcendence and we get to the other side of anxiety where we're back in the present moment again, ready to take action. Anxiety isn't inherently bad in itself, right? It's a pain that tells you, hey, there's uncertainty in the future. Maybe you should be planning for this uncertainty or maybe you should just let it go. You really have two options when you feel anxiety. You know, once you acknowledge it you, and you find the source, you say, okay, number one, is my anxiety about something that I can take action towards? So maybe your anxiety is, hey, I gotta pay my bills at the end of the month. I don't have enough money right now. Anxiety is justified, right? Go hustle your face off, make that money so you can make ends meet. But if you have anxiety that has to do with things that you cannot control, well, at that point, you just gotta surrender because when you start to feel anxious about things that are outside of your control, you really are helpless. So you're only causing yourself suffering when you come back to it over and over and over again. Either way, what you need to do is come back to the now, to the present moment, because either way you slice it, you can only be productive in the now. You can't do anything in the past, you can't do anything in the future, all you can do is something right now in this present moment. And you can ask yourself the question, where am I? And if your thoughts are going off into the future and you're starting to get anxious about uncertain things in the future, you pull yourself back to the present moment, maybe through a few deep intentional breaths. And you tell yourself, I'm here, I'm now, I'm in the now. So our goal is always to get here, get now, get present. And I know this isn't new information for you. Of course, you're a smart person. You've heard this before. People have said, you know, if you're feeling anxiety, you should try to get present. 
Well, let's put some actions behind it this time. And the actions I really want you to take are understanding that, you know, our minds, as I mentioned before, are just operating on an old piece of software. So we need to create a new solution here in the present moment. Maybe in the past, like it really served us to feel anxious about all these things upcoming. But now, you know, our physical threats are minimal for many of us. And so we need to get into the practice of being present through exercises like meditation and mindfulness. And mindfulness can be, hey, just stop a few times a day, maybe even set a calendar reminder on your phone, just saying breathe. And you just take a few deep breaths to get back to the present and you realize, okay, the thing I was getting worked up about isn't that important. I'm just gonna be here in the present and do my best right here, right now. And you can also use guided meditation to start to build that muscle of being present and being now. And so, of course, I've created a meditation for you to help with that. I created a meditation that's called Meditation for Being Present. And so if you're someone who struggles with anxiety quite a bit, I mean, I would check this out now and then I would put it into your routine. Do it a few times a week and see how it affects your life. These kind of meditations are very helpful for getting you to break the habit of just feeling anxious all the time and becoming more still in the present moment. So I linked it up at the end of the video. Check it out, it's a free resource and I think it can be really helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment or question anything below. Uh, if you have any questions for me personally, you can always hit me up on the Be Mindset on Instagram. And uh, my name is Brian Epstein. I'll catch you in the next video.